Good afternoon. I'm finally done work. More importantly, Champ's finally done his work. Guy works so hard every day. Anyway, we're gonna go up to the hills. We're gonna go back to that camping site that Sam's got us hooked up with. I'm gonna go swimming today. I wanna go jump off that bridge again. I'm basically gonna have just another one of those fantastic Ottawa summer days. In Gatineau, not really Ottawa, in Quebec. But you know, Quebec is awesome. It's gonna be great. We're picking up Jess, who's a friend of mine from Bridgehead, uh, which is like the same crew that uh, Ashley's from. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go camping. We're gonna eat some delicious campfire food. Summer, it's gonna be awesome. To Wakefield. You excited, Jessica? Very. Jessica told me while the camera wasn't rolling that she's gonna jump off that bridge. Oh, I did. She, she did. I'm not doing it. Jessica's <laughs> gonna jump off that bridge. Jessica's very. You and your very... camera you can't make me do anything. <laughs> There's actually a really convenient parking lot right here, and they let you use it to go swim down at the thing. It's really cool. It used to be that you weren't allowed to, but I, they've since removed those signs. So we good. This is the Wakefield Covered Bridge. Anyways, these bridges are popular because uh, it snows quite a lot here and this way they don't have to clean the snow off the bridge and people don't slide their cars off the bridge. Very pretty lattice work of wood. So nice. Down there is the, the, the rocks where people chill out. It's kind of like a Canadian beach. We don't really have much sand, but you know, got some rock, it's nice. And this is the drop. Can hardly tell. That's a solid 30 feet at least. You already smell so bad already. Yeah. yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Let's go, let's ow. go, let's go, let's go, ow. let's go. Okay. That's it here. We're gonna head off to our campsite and make some dinner. We're back on Sam's land again. And actually Sam is, Sam's still here. <laughs> He's been doing some work here, working on his, uh, his all of his land. He was setting up a, a shower and a toilet system. I think after having Corbin and Kelsey here a couple weeks ago, he's kind of realized that maybe he ought to make it a little bit hot, more hospitable than just wild Quebec countryside. Anyway. We're uh, gonna cook some over the fire today, and Jess is gonna learn how to make a fire. Don't tell people I don't know how to make a fire. That's not, no shame I, in it. I know how to make a fire. I'm really good at it. She's really good at it. <laughs> Seven. You said that you'd give 
given to back what you didn't I bet you thought it was funny but it wasn't You thought that everyone owed you something Take off your shoes and put them at my front door yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's a jalapeno cheddar delicious dogs, giant massive sausage things. And uh, this is, I, it's, technically it's a salad. There's some lettuce, actually it's baby spinach, avocado, sliced tomato, and sliced chunks of mozzarella cheese. Champ wants that salad. Champ, you get away from the salad. If you're, uh, if you're in Get Snow and you wanna go camping, go hang out with some cool people, freecampsites.net he's got his land up there but you gotta call yeah. him first and then only first uh, and you gotta convince him that you're not a crazy person that's yep. important that's so right. be very convincing on that <laughs> the yellow campfire okay, we just heard like a We've been hearing some rustling noises all night and there's a lot of animals up here and that's fine. Small animals though, like around the fire. I heard, you heard it. Yeah. It which sounded like, like a squirrels or whatever, small stuff. But then we just heard something like, I think it sounded freaking huge, whatever it was. And it was like definitely trampling through the forest. Like a lot of noise. Okay, I've been hearing those noises and you said bear and that was scary, but I, I don't, okay, there's a very slim chance it could be a fairly small bear. It's just the amount of branches that it was breaking, like, it's pretty heavy. It's definitely like champ-sized, whatever is out there. And it could just be like a neighbor's dog wandering around. But like, I made noises and it stopped. And then we all got in the van. I might leave champ inside the van, because I don't really want him tussling with it. And he's like black, so it's hard to see him anyway, so if he like, gets up and runs, I won't see which direction he goes, so I'm just gonna leave him in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out and like enjoy the last bit of the fire, and we'll keep you updated <laughs> if that animal shows up. We got flashlights and stuff though, so we're a little bit more prepared now. 